Craig, let's start with you. You were on this special, okay? And uh, the Jesus Papers says he's exposing the greatest cover-up in history. Jesus didn't die on the cross. He was drugged, da-da-da-da-da. And he went on, went down to Egypt, and then later on up to France. He's got a real tail going on. What's wrong with this? Well, just about everything is wrong with that book imaginable. In the Dateline program, Michael Bajan said to Sarah James, the interviewer, that the gospel story of Jesus' death is a fraud. Well, the only fraud that we're talking about here is Michael Bajan and his book. This book is a, it's a travesty. There is no scholarship in it. He bases his conclusions on documents either he hasn't seen but are rumored to have been bought off and hidden away by the Vatican, or the most ridiculous part, two letters he says, written in Aramaic, which he has seen but can't read, and no one else has seen, supposedly letters found underneath a house in Jerusalem 40 years ago, which any papyrologist would tell you is impossible. Those letters would have rotted away a long time ago. We are asked to believe on the basis of these letters, which he says Jesus wrote long after he supposedly died, we are supposed to believe Bajan's interpretation that Jesus really didn't die, that somehow in cahoots with Pontius Pilate, with his knowledge, Jesus was drugged, faked his death, and was taken down, put in the tomb, and then at night, according to a piece of artwork, when the moon is up, Jesus' body is taken out of the tomb where he's later revived. This thing reads like a real cheap detective story. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder if he believes any of it himself. I mean, he's a smart person, but what he's telling you, nobody would buy a house or swampland in Florida on what he's saying. Well, they shouldn't. Uh, they'd be very foolish if they did.